Hello everyone, welcome to all of you to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the various types of microeconomics and this is also called the various types of microeconomic analysis as well. And we know microeconomics is the study of individual unit such as individual income, individual expenditure, output of a particular firm and so on. And here now the microeconomic analysis is greatly affected by the time period. So on the basis of time changes, there are three types of microeconomic analysis. Number one, microstatic analysis. Number two, comparative microstatic analysis. And number three, microdynamic analysis. At first we will describe about the microstatic analysis. Microstatic analysis shows the static relationship between the microeconomic variables whose values relate to the same point of time. It, it assumes that there will be no change in the relationship between the microeconomic variables and it shows the static equilibrium which is obtained at a particular or at a specific time period. Here the time period has no role in the microstatic analysis. We can better understand microstatic analysis with the help of following diagram. In the diagram, DD refers to the demand curve whereas SS represents the supply curve. Both demand curve and supply curve intersect at point E and where the equilibrium price is OP whereas the equilibrium quantity is OQ and this equilibrium point E is specified at a particular period of time. There is no study of the time changes under microstatic analysis because if the time will change the demand or supply or both can change its position and therefore the equilibrium position will also change. So the microstatic analysis studies the static relationship between demand and supply and it studies the particular equilibrium point E which is obtained at a specified time period. Now we will study second type of microeconomics that is comparative microstatic analysis. Comparative microstatics is defined as the comparative study of different equilibrium positions which is obtained by the interaction of microeconomic variables at different period of time. So this concept indicates that due to the change in the time period the microeconomic variables also changes and due to this the equilibrium point also moves from one place to another place and when old equilibrium shifts into the new equilibrium then comparative microstatic analysis compares the old equilibrium with the new equilibrium but it is to be noted that it does not study the process by which the old equilibrium passes to the new equilibrium position. It only compares, okay, it only makes the comparative study between the two equilibrium positions. And in the graph, we can see here the initial demand curve is DD, the initial supply curve is SS, and the interaction of demand curve and supply curve is E point, which is our initial equilibrium point. Suppose the demand curve DD shifts upward to the right side in the form of D1, D1 and the new equilibrium point here it will be E1, okay. Due to the changes in the time period when the demand will increase the new demand curve will be D1, D1 which intersects the supply curve at point E1. So our new equilibrium point is E1 
where the equilibrium quantity is OQ1 and the equilibrium price is OP1. So, with the passage of time, the equilibrium position E moves to the new equilibrium position E1. So, comparative microstatics compares between the old equilibrium point E and new equilibrium point E1. But it does not focus on the path. It does not highlight the process that occurs in between the old equilibrium E and new equilibrium E1. It only makes the comparative study. And now we will study the third type of microeconomics that is microdynamics. Microdynamics focus on how the old equilibrium position is changed into the new equilibrium position. It means it throws light upon the whole process by which the old equilibrium is converted or transformed into the new equilibrium position. So, in the diagram also, how this old equilibrium E converts into the new equilibrium E1. This whole process is studied under the microdynamics. So, here what happens actually that the supply is OQ and the demand is also OQ at first denoted by the initial equilibrium point E. When the demand will increase and demand curve DD shifts upward in the form of D1 D1 then due to the high pressure of demand and supply remaining the same here the supply is same but demand has increased so due to the high pressure of demand the price of the commodity will increase to O P2 the price will increase from OP to OP2 and at the higher prices we know producers will be initiated and they will supply more and more quantity at the higher prices so due to the high price OP2 the supply will be OQ2 the supply increases from OQ to OQ2 at the higher price OP2. So the supply exceeds the demand by AB portion. And when the supply will increase, it will decrease the price by BC. So now the price will be OP3. And due to the fall in the price, the demand exceeds the supply by CD and due to the higher demand again the price will increase okay and the price will increase by D F okay and the price will be OP4 and this process will go on continuously till the new equilibrium point E1 is achieved. So here it is the path that at first due to the increase in the demand the price increased from OP to OP2 and at the higher prices the supply increased and supply exceeds the demand by AB and due to the higher supply of the commodity the price decreases by BC and due to the decrease in the price of the commodity again the demand will exceed and due to the higher demand again the price will increase and this process will go on continuously till our new equilibrium point even is achieved. So in this way the old equilibrium point E will move to the new equilibrium point even and this whole process by which the old equilibrium is disturbed and new equilibrium is achieved this whole process is, is, is this whole process is studied under microdynamics so these are the three types of microeconomics in short if you are going to study the microeconomic variables which are relating to a particular 
specific period of time suppose the initial equilibrium point e if you are going to study the initial equilibrium point e only then it will be micro statics and again if you are going to study only e1 equilibrium point then it will be also micro statics but if you are going to compare the old equilibrium e with the new equilibrium e1 it will be comparative micro static analysis and if you are going to study how the old equilibrium e converts into the new equilibrium e1 then this will be the study under micro dynamics so with this i would like to request all of you to like and share my videos as well as subscribe my channel thank you very much